Hello and welcome to Train Signal. You're watching using the Veeam File Level Restore Wizard. In this lesson, I'll start off by covering the difference between the File Level Restore Wizard and the Backup Browser that we used previously in the Virtual Machine Restoration video. I'll cover some considerations about the File Level Restore Wizard, including VMware Player, VM Inside VM, and importing backup files. And then in the end, I'll show you how to use the File Level Restore Wizard to successfully restore Linux files from a Veeam Backup backup file to your PC. And with that, let's get started. So what's the difference between the File Level Restore Wizard and the Backup Browser? Previously, in our Virtual Machine Restoration video, I showed you the Backup Browser. It's inside the Veeam Backup Console. I showed you all you do is click Restore. On the toolbar of the Veeam Backup Console, it brings up a wizard, and one of the things you can select is to restore files. Well, if you restore files using that option, you can only restore Windows files for Windows file systems using that backup browser that will appear. Well, in this video, I'll show you a different method to restore files from Veeam backup data, and that is the file level restore wizard. So the number one difference with the file level restore wizard is that it restores Linux files. I'm not going to read off the list there, but you see it on your screen. Linux, Unix, BSD, even Mac files, and older Windows file types can be restored using the file level restore wizard. You're also going to run it in a different place. You're not going to run it in the Veeam Backup Console. It's a separate application. And then it works differently because it uses VMware Player. So VMware Player is a requirement, or if you have VMware Workstation installed, by default it will also install VMware Player. So if you don't have VMware Workstation or VMware Player installed, that's the first thing you need to do. You need to go to VMware.com and download the free player. It does require a free registration, but it's quick and easy to install. It's just about 100 megabytes. You perform a reboot after you install it, and then VMware Player is installed on your system. To see if you have VMware Player, I suggest you just go down to your Start menu, go to All Programs, scroll down to VMware, and you can see right here whether or not you have VMware Player. There's my instance of VMware Player. It actually came with VMware Workstation, but VMware Player, like I said, can be installed separately. And VMware Player is free. The second consideration to keep in mind is that the file level restore wizard is installed when you install the Veeam Backup Console. You cannot install it separately, so by default you'll find the file level restore wizard on the same computer that you installed Veeam Backup on. But what if you install Veeam Backup on a virtual machine? If you try to install VMware Player and use VMware Player on a virtual machine, you're actually running virtualization inside virtualization or a VM inside a VM and I can tell you you're going to have some problems and it will take some work to try to get that to work and for that reason I recommend installing the file level restore wizard on a physical computer or a physical server or on your desktop PC because you're going to have a lot less trouble than trying to run VMware player inside a virtual machine inside VMware vSphere and I can tell you that's exactly what I did I've got VMware player on my local computer here where I run VMware workstation but then to get the file level restore wizard, I just had to go back and install Veeam Backup again. So I installed Veeam Backup. I'm not using it to perform backups, but I installed it to get the file level restore wizard. So if you go down here to start, to all programs, and down to Veeam, you can see the Veeam file level restore wizard. That's what we're going to run. But first, let me talk about one other thing, one last thing, and that is... The Veeam File Level Restore Wizard is going to access the Veeam Backup database on the local computer that it's run on. So if you just installed Veeam Backup on your physical computer to get the File Level Restore Wizard, just like I did, you're not going to have any backup files found by the File Level Restore Wizard that you can restore. So to get around that, what I did is I imported backups. So let me show you how to import backups. All you do is you run Veeam Backup and FastSCP. And by the way, you should run it as administrator, or you're going to get this kind of prompt, this UAC prompt in Windows 7. If you're using Windows 7, I'll say yes there. This brings up my Veeam Backup Console. I'll maximize this. You can see I don't have any jobs here. I'm not using this to perform backups, but I do have some backups. So how did I get these backups in? Well, I went up here and I imported the backups with this button right here. I clicked Import Backups. I found my backup files. You can see out here they're in the same repository I've been using to store my backups on from my Veeam backup server. And I found the backup files right here. For example, here's a backup file. I'll double click this. I'll say OK. It'll take just a second to import this backup file. And there we go. We successfully imported one virtual machine backup file. You can see there now we have 
uh, the vCenter server that we could restore using this Veeam Backup console. And also, the file level restore client can now restore files that have been brought in using this import backup function. Now, the file level restore client is really ideal for restoring Linux and Unix or even Mac files if those have been somehow backed up using Veeam Backup. So in our case, what I want to do is I want to restore a file from this UDA. This is the Ultimate Deployment Appliance. It's a Linux-based virtual appliance that you're not going to be able to restore files from using the backup browser inside the Veeam Backup console. So to get access to those files, what I'm going to do is to go down here to my Start menu, All Programs, into Veeam, and I want to run the Veeam File Level Restore Wizard. But I can tell you I want to run it as administrator. So I'm going to right-click on it and Run as Administrator. And here we go. This brings up the Veeam File Level Restore Wizard. And like it says here, it supports multiple operating systems. And again, note that for Windows guests, you can perform instant file level restores from the Veeam Backup user interface without running this virtual appliance and the File Level Restore Wizard. I'll say Next here. And now it finds our backup jobs, but only because we imported these. However, if you were running Veeam Backup on a physical server originally, of course, you wouldn't have to perform that import process just so you understand that. Let's drop down this box here and let's select the Ultimate Deployment Linux Appliance. I'll say Next here. And let's just select the latest backup, the synthetic backup. I'll say Next. And I'll click Finish. It'll take just a minute to bring up the file level restore virtual machine inside VMware Player. And this brings up the Veeam Backup File Level Restore Appliance that runs inside VMware Player. And there we go, a second later, the file level restore client pops up. So this is the client that we'll use to actually restore the files from this Linux-based virtual machine. So if we expand out the LVM, this is the logical volume manager here. These are the different volumes from the Linux virtual machine that were backed up. We can see all the files and folders that were underneath here. For example, let's go in and let's restore a file inside the var folder and then inside logs. Let's actually restore the messages folder onto our local Windows system so that we could take a look at this and potentially we could put it back on the server if we want to. But in the case of messages, likely you just want to take a look. So all you need to do is right click on it and click copy to and then select the path or destination for the file. I'll click browse here and I'll just put it on my desktop. Say OK. And there we go. So what this live CD, this virtual appliance did that's running inside VMware Player is it mounted the Veeam Backup files, the actual VMDK from the Veeam Backup, it mounted those on this Linux virtual appliance so that you can gain access to those files and then restore them onto your Windows system so that you can then put them back into Linux if you need to. Now you can also access these Linux files down here in this little command line. But personally, I think that the GUI client over here on the right is much easier to use. So with that, let's go to our desktop and take a look at this file. Here on my desktop, I've got the messages file. Let's just double click on that. I'm going to go down here and let's open it up with WordPad. And this is it. This is the messages file from the Linux virtual machine. Here we can examine what's been going on on this Linux virtual appliance if we need to. And if this were some important database, we could put this file back on the virtual machine. All right, so that's the Veeam File Level Restore Wizard. As you can see, it's real quick and easy to use, but there's some particular things that you need to know about it. The number one thing was that it's different from the backup browser because it can restore Linux-based files. You also need to know that you can run it anywhere that you've installed the Veeam Backup Console because it's part of that installation, but it's a separate application. And it requires VMware Player. Now, you might already have VMware Player if you installed VMware Workstation. Otherwise, you need to go to VMware.com, register and download it, and install it for free. You also need to know that the Veeam File Level Restore Wizard, because it uses VMware Player, isn't going to work very well inside a virtual machine. Very likely, you'll need to run it on a physical system. So what that does is that brings us to the end of this video covering the Veeam File Level Restore Wizard. We learned the differences between the file level restore wizard and the backup browser. Backup browser only does Windows files. We covered the considerations. You must have VMware Player. It's very difficult to run VMware Player inside an ESX virtual machine. So it's much easier to just run VMware Player and the file level restore wizard on a physical server. 
but if you install the Veeam Backup Console on a different physical server, you'll need to import those backup files, like I showed you how to do in this video. Finally, I demonstrated how the file level restore wizard works. I showed you how to restore a file from a Linux virtual machine and bring it over to your Windows desktop, and then we open that text file up with WordPad. Thanks for watching this video covering using the Veeam file level restore wizard.